We're supposed to re-express 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta into the R formula form. And I think the best possible way to do that is to derive the R formula instead of just purely memorizing it. So I'm going to let this 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta that was given to us to be equal to R cosine theta minus alpha. And just by expanding this using trigonometric identity, we will be getting a R cosine theta cosine alpha plus R sine theta sine alpha. And then we will be able to compare coefficients because we have a cosine theta and a cosine theta here. Then we have a sine theta and a sine theta here. So comparing coefficient, we know that R cosine alpha, R cosine alpha, where this and this are the same. So R cosine alpha should be equal to this 7. And comparing the sine theta, we can see that R sine alpha, which is here, R sine alpha, this must be equal to 4. So now we have a pair of simultaneous equations that involve R and alpha. We will be able to solve for R and alpha by solving this pair of simultaneous equation. So I'm going to first go for A square equation, A square plus B square. So A square plus B square gives us a R square cosine square alpha plus R square sine square alpha. This is equal to 7 square plus 4 square. Then if I were to factorize our R square, we will have a cosine square alpha plus sine square alpha. This is equal to 65. And this is 1, which means that we will be getting a R square is equal to 65. This tells me that R, which is a positive number, this is going to be equal to positive square root of 65. And then to solve for alpha, I'm going to take equation B divided by equation A. So if I will take a B divided by A, on the left hand side, we will have a R sine alpha divided by R cosine alpha. On the right hand side, we will have a 4 over 7. And what is this divided by this? R and R can be cancelled. We will have a sine alpha over cosine alpha, which means that we will have a tangent alpha. This is 4 over 7. And it is given to us by the question that alpha here is going to be between 0 to pi over 2. So we are working on just an acute angle for alpha. So in the first quadrant, alpha is going to be tangent inverse of 4 over 7. And if I were to compute this using my calculator, this is 0 0.51915 radians. So now we have solved for r, we have solved for theta, we have solved for alpha. I can then make use of this two to re-express 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta. It can be re-expressed to r, which is the square root of 65 cosine theta minus alpha, and we have just found it 0 0.51915. We're going to make use of this to solve the equation that is given to us, because when we are looking at 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta to be equal to 6, it will now be the same as having a square root of 65 cosine theta minus 0 0.51915. This is equal to 6, which means that cosine theta minus 0 0.51915 is equal to 6 over square root of 65. And we're going to find the basic angle. So from here, the basic angle that we will be working on will just be cosine inverse of 6 over square root of 65. And watching out for the fact that theta is going to be between 0 to pi. Then we are going to select the angles out from this basic angle that will give us a theta that is between 0 to pi. So theta minus 0 0.51915. Since cosine of this angle is positive, that means this angle, theta minus 0 0.51915, can be either in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. We're going to choose just the first quadrant because that will give us subsequently a theta that is between 0 to pi. So this is going to be, if it were to be in the first quadrant, it will just be equal to the basic angle. So theta is going to be equal to, theta here is going to be equal to 
a sine inverse of 6 over square root of 65 plus 0 0.51915 and theta is going to be equal to 1.25. So on part 2, we are going to make use of the result that we have gotten in the first part which is to re-express this in its R formula form and that is square root of 65 cosine theta minus 0 0.51915 so this square which I can also rewrite this as this minus square root of 65 square is 65 then cosine square theta minus 0 0.51915 and we can also write this as 80 minus 65 of cosine theta minus 0 0.51915 squared. I think this is e easier for us to be analyzing because if I want to get the largest possible of this, the focus is on just this, the largest or the smallest possible of this expression. So for the largest possible of this expression here, so let me write it down. When this expression, when a t minus 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta squared, when this is the largest. Okay, let's try to go for some observation here, okay? This is always going to be between plus 1 and minus 1, so between plus and minus 1. Any in between their values like 0 and so on. So we want to, for the largest possible value, since it's 80 minus something, it's 80 minus something, we want this to be as small as possible so that overall it can be the largest possible. So plus and minus 1 is not going to work because of the square here. You know, after we go, have gone through the square, it will just become plus 1 all the time. So we're going to choose 0, right? When this is 0, then it will be 80 minus 65 times 0. So the largest possible is going to be equal to 80. So for the largest possible, it is going to be 80, this, plus 4 sine theta square. The largest possible will be when it is 80 minus 65 times 0. So the maximum possible of this is going to be equal to 80. And this happens when cosine theta minus 0 0.51915 is equal to 0. So when this is equal to 0, that means theta minus 0 0.51915, this is equal to pi over 2. This will help us to work out the value of theta such that this expression here is the largest. Theta is going to be equal to 2.09. And now let's work on the smallest possible of the expression. So when this 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta square is the smallest. So if it is the smallest, we want to minus a value that is as big as possible. 80 minus something that is as big as possible will happen when this is either plus or minus 1. Right, then it will be minusing something that is as big as possible. So it is when we have 80 minus 7 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta square is equal to 80 minus 65 times plus or minus 1 square. So it is actually just going to be 80 minus 65 and this is equal to 15. This is the smallest possible. And when will this happen? This happens when cosine theta minus 0 0.51915, when this is either uh, plus or minus 1. So this means that this minus this, 915, this will be either 0 or pi. When it is 0, theta is going to be equal to 0 0.51915 to three significant figures, 0 0.519 or pi plus this. But pi plus this gives me a 3.66 and we are working on a theta that is between 0 to pi. So this is going to be rejected.